Hello everyone. Welcome to our Scratch Junior channel. I'm Gary. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you another way to handle the trigger for our previous tutorial, bouncing basketball. In our previous tutorial, we used the start on bump block for triggering the basketball to move when it is being touched. We can use another method to trigger the movement of the basketball. We can use the message system to do that. Let's open the poses for the cat. Once the cat has finished the move right block, we add the send message block. We can change the color of the message. There are six colors you can use. Let's use green color for our message. The send message block allows the cat to send a green message to other characters once his movement to the right is finished. Let's open the poses for the basketball. Instead of starting the poses on start on bump, we change it to the start on message block and the color of the message to be received is green. In order to remove the start on bump block, you need to click and hold the next block, the hop block, and drag the entire chain away from the start on bump. Then you can drag the start on bump block to the block section above. The start on bump block is now removed. You can click and hold the entire chain and move it to the start on message block. As a result, the basketball process will start when it receives a green message from other characters. In our case, it is the cat who will send the green message. Let's test our script. There you go. The result is the same as before. The beauty about coding is you have different ways to reach the same result. It opens all possibilities for kids to think and play. It is not about learning hard knowledge. It is about how to train a kid to create and imagine. Thank you for watching. See you again soon.